Hello ladies and gentlemen, here 24 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the M3 Stewart. The M3 Stewart, officially light tank M3, was an American light tank of World War II. An improved version entered service as the M5. It was supplied to the British and other Commonwealth forces under the lend lease prior to the entry of the US into the war. Thereafter, it was used by US and Allied forces until the end of the war. The British service name Stuart came from the American Civil War Confederate General J.E.B. Stuart and was used for both the M3 and the derivative M5 tank. In the US use, the tanks were officially known as the Light Tank M3 and Light Tank M5. Stuarts were the first American crewed tanks in World War II to engage the enemy in tank versus tank combat. The Stuart was also the light tank counterpart to the M3 Lee, which was a medium tank. So the Stuart here, one of the iconic vehicles from World War II, uh, it saw pretty much service throughout a majority of the real conflicts of the war, and actually is still seeing service by some countries around the world. So definitely a very uh, historic vehicle, and one that's really been around for quite some time. Uh, the tank itself is really cool, and we have here the M3, which is the standard version. Um, which kind of sets this apart from the M3A1. It's the uh, removal of machine guns to the side. So the M3A1 got rid of the machine guns on both sides of both the assistant driver and the driver's kind of uh, viewports and seating area. And instead uh, just has the whole mounted machine gun in front of the assistant driver. Um, but yeah, the M3 is the kind of first production model and has the additional two machine guns. So it has a total of three forward facing um, 30 caliber machine guns. So yeah, really interesting vehicle and uh, happy to finally get a redesign out for this last one being built quite a long time ago. So it's definitely uh, been in need for a dire redesign and I think this is a really nice new model for you guys to want to enjoy. Uh, going ahead and getting started with uh, taking a look at it, we have obviously the front here. So we have all the viewports here for the driver and the assistant driver. We also have the whole mounted machine gun located right here. Uh, to the sides here, we also have the machine guns mounted. Um, and this is right here what makes the standard M3 variant kind of stand out from the, uh, you know, previous ones. So definitely a uh, kind of easy tell apart from the other ones. We have the road wheels here, real simple designs. And then going ahead and moving into the top here, we have a 30 caliber machine gun mounted on top of the turret. Commander's cupola, um, all the various little details here around the uh, back here, the engine bay and all that stuff, radio antenna and... That is pretty much the tank. I think it came out really good, and I think it's going to make an awesome addition to any of your guys' World War II scenarios, especially as a light tank, and especially since it's pretty much all service for pretty much all the major allied forces of World War II. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first uh, layers, layers 0 and 1. Alright guys, go ahead and move it into our first layers. We have layers 0 and 1. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a nether brick slab, followed by a nether brick top slab coming off like so. Going back from the slab, we're going to go in the ground, place down one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks in the ground, just like so. We're then going to place down another brick upside down stair here on the end, like this. Now for the road wheels themselves, real simple, we're going to go and place down a grindstone facing this direction like so, and then a second grindstone coming off of it like so. We then want to go and do the same thing again here with two grindstones, so one this way, and this one coming off of it just like that for your uh, road wheels here on the tracks. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate followed by a shulker box on its side like that. So the top of the shulker box is like facing this way out to the side. We also want to place down a dark oak wood button on this shulker box like so. On the shulker box and the grindstones, we're going to be going ahead and placing down item frames. So, and in those item frames, we're going to go ahead and place down some green terracotta blocks just like that to go ahead and complete the look of the wheels there. Now, for some console versions and stuff like that, there is a conflict with putting buttons or signs and stuff in the same uh, block space as an item frame. Uh, unfortunately for you guys, the best way to go about it is to remove whatever is affecting it. So if there's like a button or signs there, just go ahead and do the item frames instead. Um, it doesn't look as good, but it's kind of the only way we really have around it. So um, just take Take the, keep that in mind when you're building this because there's been some questions raised uh, lately about what they can do to change that. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to then go to this narrow brick uh, slab here. We're going to go three near, or dark oak with top slabs over. And in coming off the middle dark oak with top slab, we're going to place a dark oak fence gate opened up toward that top slab like so. From this, we're going to take our dark oak with top slabs. We're going to go back to this location here. So the shulker box, we're going to place a row three across this backspace like that. We can then go and fill in the space here. 
in between these two rows of three of dark oak wood with this to go ahead and make the bottom of the tank like so. After that, we're going to then go to the sides here and we're going to basically repeat the same uh, process we did for the tracks just over the air side. Now I'm not going to explain this completely, you know, 100% because I just explained it pretty thoroughly over there on the right side. If you do get stuck at any point, just refer back to the right side and uh, basically copy what we did over there. And just bring it over to this side and you'll pretty much be good to go. But um, as you can see, we have our grindstones here and we're going to go and put our item frames on these blocks. So just like this and we have our road wheels and we have that all set up and good to go. Now with that done, the last thing for us to do is to go ahead and grab some zombie heads and on the inside here of these air brick up downstairs, we're going to place down some zombie heads like so and also come off these top slabs here toward the inside here on the front. And with that all done, this is what we should have for layers 0 1, a look uh, for something like that. And once that's all complete, that's going to complete layer 0 1 and with that let's move into layer number 2. I guess moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with, you're going to place down a narrow brick stair on top of these two narrow brick top slabs, and in between these narrow brick stairs, you're going to place down a row three of dark oak wood slabs. From this, going back from the narrow brick stairs, we're going to be going and placing down a uh, shulker box here on this side, like that. So, just like we did for the back here, you want the top of the shulker box sticking out to the side. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood button on both sides of these shulker boxes, followed by an item frame and a cobweb in the item frame, like so, for these front. Uh, drive sprocket wheels. After that, uh, we're going to then grab our dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this to both sides, and in the middle space, we're going to place down a spruce stair, just like that. From this, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row three across of green terracotta, and we want to go and then place down a narrow brick top slab to both sides, like so. After that, we're going to place down an additional two rows of three of green terracotta going back, and we're going to place down two narrow brick top slabs both sides. Now. Come off those two narrow brick top slabs, we're going to place down two dark oak wood signs. And we're going to go ahead and then place down two item frames with green terracotta blocks in the item frames, like so. And same thing over here. And these are basically your roller wheels that the top of the track rolls on. And then once that's done, we're going to, go to place down another row, two rows of three of green terracotta going back. This time we're going to place down two narrow brick slabs here, two both sides, a dark oak wood sign, an item frame and the green terracotta block and same thing over here as well just like that. After that uh, we want to go and then place down a dark oak wood trap door to both sides like this and a row of three of green terracotta across in between those dark oak slabs. From that point there we're going to go and take our mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a row of three of mossy cobblestone walls across the middle here, a dark oak wood trap door to both sides and then come off this trap door we're going to place down a second dark oak wood trap door and we're going to have this closed like so. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have for layer 2. This is what it should look like from up above here so far. And with that, that's it for the layer. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number 3. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 3. Now for layer 3 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a green carpet on top of these two narrow brick stairs. We then want to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor that goes back from those carpets. And we're going to place down an item frame here on the trapdoor with a snowball in it like so. After that, we're going to place down a second dark oak wood trapdoor back to both sides, and we want to go and then place down a daylight detector over here to the right side, and then coming off the daylight detector, we're going to place down a end rod, just like that. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to place down a green terracotta block here in the middle, a dark oak wood stair like this to both sides, and then we also want to go ahead and place down a spruce wood trapdoor on top of this green terracotta block over here to the left side. Now with that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some black concrete and for our black concrete here we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three behind the stairs and a green terracotta block and then to both sides of that row of three of concrete we're going to place down a green terracotta block like so. We then want to place down an end rod coming off these two green terracotta blocks and then we're going to place down an item frame on top of this narrow brick top slab. In the item frame itself we're going to go ahead and place down a green stained glass pane just like that to kind of keep a little more green color and kind of cover up the tracks for uh, basically what the fenders would be. Um, once that's done, uh, we're going to go and then go to the um, this row here. We're going to place down a row of five of green terracotta all the way across, and we're also going to place down two dark oak wood buttons on both ends, like so. Uh, once that's done, in the next space, we're going to place down a row of three blue brick. Uh, full blocks and then a green terracotta block to both sides, a dark oak wood button come off the side of that green terracotta block like so. 
And then we want to place down a row 3 of green terracotta across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall, again both sides, and a dark oak wood stair coming off the two mossy cobblestone walls like that. And then in between the dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a row 3 of green terracotta. We also want to place down a row 3 of dark oak top slabs coming off these mossy cobblestone walls. And we're going to also place down a row 3 of dark oak wood stairs on top of those top slabs. With that done, on the dark oak wood stairs here to both ends, we're going to place down a uh, item frame with a red stained glass paint or stained glass block in it, and then a dark oak wood fence key coming off the face there of that dark oak stair. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have for layer number uh, three for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak or green terracotta. We're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this green terracotta block here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood up down stair coming off and going forward, followed by a zombie head to both sides of the dark oak wood stair, and then coming off the face here of the dark oak wood stair, and place down two end rods like that for the main 37mm gun. After that, to both sides of this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, followed by a row of three of green terracotta across. On both sides of this row of three of green terracotta, we're going to place down a item frame with a black concrete block in the item frame, and we're going to also place down a dark oak wood sign on the side of the green terracotta block, like so. After that, we're going to place down a narrow green terracotta block here in the middle, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall in the corners, just like that. And then on the back here, an item frame with a black concrete block, and then a dark oak wood sign over it, just like that for the back here. We also want to go ahead and grab a zombie head, and we're going to place down a zombie head on this mossy cobblestone wall, like so. With that all complete, we're going to go then place down a dark oak wood button on top of this green terracotta block, and same thing over here to this side. And we're also going to place down an item frame on top of these two green terracotta blocks with a green terracotta block in the item frame. After that's complete, we're going to go and take our daylight detectors. We're going to place down a row of three across of daylight detectors, followed by a zombie head on top of the mossy cobblestone walls to both ends. And then on the very back here, we want to go and just place down a dark oak wood fence post to the right side here, and then taking our dark oak wood buttons, we're going to place down one, two, over just like that to the left side and with that all complete that is going to wrap up layer number four for the build with that we're going to move into our final layers layers five and six we're going to put the top of the turret on the little 30 cal machine gun and also the radio antenna so with that let's move into our final layers layers five and six moving into our final layers we have layers five through six so for these layers we're going to go and start off by placing down a green carpet on top of this dark oak wood upside down stair we then want to go and go back from it placing down a daylight detector and then we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair over here to the left side followed by a dark oak wood corner stair coming off the stair and then another dark oak wood stair back from it. So you get kind of a shape that looks like this. Then in this uh, corner space right here, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall and around it we're going to take some dark oak wood signs and wrap them around this mossy cobblestone wall. Now we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames. So we're going to place down item frames on both sides of this mossy cobblestone wall and we also want to place down a black concrete block in those item frames like that for little viewports here. And actually on the back side here, so this mossy cobblestone wall, if you do want to include this 30 cal machine gun mounted here, uh, we are actually going to delete this dark oak top slab in its place. We're going to place down a dark oak fence gate like so. Now after that's done, uh, we're going to then place down a narrow brick slab on top of this fence gate. Coming off of it going forward, we're going to place down a end rod. We're going to then place down a zombie head over here to the left side followed by an item frame to the right side and in the item frame we're going to go and place down a black bed turn sideways like so and then a dark oak wood sign on the side of it and then we're just going to place down a wither skeleton skull on the back here of the slab so that right there is going to make the 30 cal machine gun up on top there um so that's good there uh, also continuing on with the turret we just want to place down a dark oak wood slab to the side coming off this corner stair and then we're going to place down a zombie head at a 45 degree angle on top of that mossy cobbles on the wall there in the corner Last thing for us to do for this build is to go ahead and grab our iron bars and going up from this dark oak wood fence post, we're going to go up and diagonal one iron bar, up and diagonal one iron bar, just like that. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up my design for the M3 Stewart light tank. Hope you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using it, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thing from a sign of the build, tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use your favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. But yeah, other than that, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been Gary 204 and I'll see you guys next time.